Hey guys, um, I wasn't able to film an intro for this video just because there was customers everywhere and managers or whatever so I wasn't able to film an intro for you guys and I just got straight into recording but this video is mainly going to be a voiceover so I'll just be explaining everything to you anyways so it doesn't really matter but yeah it was really difficult to record this video because there was customers everywhere and just people looking at me for recording or whatever but yeah I hope you guys enjoy the video okay guys so i took this reshop cart from customer service and my department was domestics so that's where i was taking it down there because it's on the first floor um if you don't know where reshop is it's basically putting stuff back that customers didn't want or that they left so i'm just going down to my department right here so after i get to my department i just take out our zebra phone i use this for item location basically we just have to scan the item barcode and the aisle comes up here i'm just bringing this toilet brush to its aisle and when i get there i just look around to see where the rest of them are and i put it down there i also did this for the rest of the items I didn't get the chance to mention to you guys what my department is. So I'm general merchandise, but I'm also a closing expert. So I have to make the store look good before it closes. Um, like you see through the majority of the video on end caps, which are the aisles that are like on the outside of aisles. On end caps, I have to push the items forward. Um, managers, they like to, when you put them on the diamond part of the shelf, like you'll see those little holes, you just put the item over that. And they like when the items stick out so that it's easier for people to see and grab. In this clip, you guys are going to watch me struggle to find out where this bin is. Sometimes with the item location, um, sometimes the items could be on the end cap. And like I said, that's like the aisles outside of the aisles. And that's where this actually was. So I did end up just taking the bins and putting them there because that's where they were supposed to go. So I kind of just killed two birds with one stone. I recorded these little soap dispenser cards for you guys because I thought they were so cute. And plus they were back stock. And back stock is when there's too much of one item on the shelf or there just isn't space to put it back on. So um, I did take those for back stock. Also, right here I am zoning and zoning is a part of closing experts. So zoning is making everything organized, putting it back where it's supposed to be. And it could also be like when you find trash that customers leave, you have to throw it out, all of that. So um you will see with these pillows i just put them back and i just organize them a little better and i do this with a whole bunch of more items that i find as well 
want a mom when she tattooed that ass I'm a lover boy, she love the toys Keep it coming, you a rider It's that roll myself a day and count my biggest shit It's that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit If I catch you knocking off, then it's gon' be some shit Well, you can do what you wanna Live how you wanna Spin what you wanna Be who you wanna be We all stutter up till I die I just run it up before I go Would you tell the world my secrets if I let you go? Feel my face, send an action These days no cool my age, niggas be past it Living in the middle, this shit might drive you mad Right here, the chairs were messed up and they were a little disorganized because people like to sit on them and they just move them and stuff. So I just went and organized that and some extra pillows that don't have a shelf to go on. Um, I do take them and I just neatly put them on the chair and it also, it's kind of aesthetic too. And when it comes to this department, like this area, seasonal, I get to play around with like where I want to put stuff, like the chairs and the tables and stuff. So this is just what I was basically doing in this clip. I also forgot to mention to you guys if you find stuff that are in the wrong department on your shelf like they belong in another department you just have to use your cart like usually you'll have to take a cart with you when you're zoning because if you find stuff from another department you have to take it back upstairs to get services so that they could sort out the reshop and that's how everybody's um carts for their department are organized so basically i was just putting reshop in in that cart and i was showing you that um with this towel clip i just had to fold the towels make it look more organized like i said that's a part of zoning so it's not really it's closing expert is honestly it, it's an easy job it's not that bad um it's just it could get a lot especially with the towel aisles aisles i'm sorry and stuff because customers just leave leave their stuff disorganized so the towel aisles tile aisles i'm sorry are usually the toughest aisles Okay, so right here while I was folding the towels, there was a customer that came up to me. They needed help with finding an item. And usually when you're working on the sales floor, customers are going to ask you all the time where stuff are. I have the Target app downloaded on my phone so I could just search stuff up and it'll tell me um, if you set it to the store, it'll tell you what aisle the stuff is. So I like to use that to help them. wondering at target our uniform is basically just jeans you could wear any sneakers no crocs so nothing with holes um as for the shirts you could wear anything red or that has red on it um maroon and in, in this video i'm actually wearing burgundy so maroon and burgundy are allowed um so i just wore that with my name tag and when you arrive at work the only thing that you need to grab is a walkie which I have in my pocket, and the zebra phone. Drop the roof and let you smoke it. I got diamonds doing since he slides in both ears. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. 
Slip that on and we might mystify Fuck or not, I keep the guala in my shorty bag You know she wasn't mine when she tattooed that ass I'm a lover boy Hey here, this is when I went on my 30 minute meal break. Um, I stopped for some Starbucks and the drink was really good. I actually had the new cream brulee, um, cream brulee frappe. It was really, really good. And you guys also seen me clock out as well for my meal. After my meal, I just went back to my department and I started zoning again. Um, usually, sometimes you'll have to go back upstairs to get more reshop carts. But right now, my manager just wanted us to focus on zoning. We usually only do reshop for one or two hours. And if we finish zoning like a little earlier than before we have to clock out, then we can do reshop a little bit just to help out with the store. While I was zoning in this clip, I did find an open package. One of the items were open, and that's usually when guests tamper with them. So when they do, we usually put it to the side, like in our cart. And when we go upstairs to drop off, reach up at customer service, we basically have to, I forgot what it's called, but you it's not throw it away, but you have to salvage it. Like you go upstairs, connect your zebra to uh, a little printer, and when you're up there, you'll basically put whether the item is damaged or not. 
And when you put that in, it'll tell you what bin to put it in. Usually it's salvage. And that's what I had to do for this one. So I just showed you guys um, when I scan it or whatever. It's actually coming up in a few seconds. <laughs> I forgot to m mention that any item, like if their packaging is ruined, that also has to go upstairs and be salvaged out. Um, earlier, I know I did see a blanket that was outside of its packaging that I put in my cart, if you guys seen it. Um, there, I do have to salvage that out. All right, guys, so our store closes at 10 o'clock, and when our manager makes the last announcement, we have to go around our zone and make sure there's no other guests, and if they are, we have to tell them they have to check out because the store is closing. Um, if they do not check out, then they have to leave the store without their items. Um, so yeah, this is what I was doing in here, and this is actually the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave comments if you have any, any questions. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed.